Hey guys, what's up? I'm Chris. I am the host of the Christian Metal Source podcast. And this is the first time I've ever showed up on this channel. Hello. I am at my home in British Columbia, Canada, where I just received a package from Face Down Records. They recently had a huge CD sale and I kind of splurged a little bit. Yeah, I wanted to do like an unboxing video, show you guys what I got because I'm super stoked to hear some of the stuff. Some of it I've never heard. Most of it I've at least heard snippets of a couple songs. Um, and then probably about half of them are just ones I'm like, well, it's a dollar, it's two dollars, 50 cents, or four dollars for like the three tiers. I'm like, I'm gonna do it. I mean, that's all US prices, and there's a big difference between Canada and US right now. Plus shipping. Really, I bought 24 albums. It was gonna be like $40 for the CDs. And then I still, I spent like $60 on shipping or something. Like shipping was more than the CDs. And then converting it was like 135 Canadian. I don't know how many are in this one. This is one half because I actually, I bought 16. And then the next day I went back and ordered like eight or nine more. Honestly, I don't remember everything that I ordered. So it'll be kind of a surprise. I did see one name on the sticker here. So I know there's at least something by a plea, a plea for purging in here. But without a further ado, uh, let's take a look. So with the start of the Christian Metal Source podcast, we're looking for themes and stuff to, to do. Like, what, what do you guys want to hear us talk about? Um, Peter and I have a couple of ideas. Um, and yeah, I think one that I came up with that I'm kind of interested in doing at least the research and talking about is Face Down Records versus Solid State Records and kind of doing a comparison of what they've done for the industry and, um, and like what artists came out of them, what their mission is, all that kind of idea. And uh, I think that will, will be kind of a cool, cool outlook. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, how many is there? There's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 14 in this package, and then uh, I guess I'll be getting another one with about 10. Um, so I'll just, it'll probably look a little different. I'll cut ahead to the next part when we get there, but um, yeah, let's take a look. Oh, I forgot I got this. Yes, I just recently listened to this album on Spotify, and I was like, I had heard it years ago, years ago, and I, I didn't really like it that much, but now I absolutely love this album. I guess this focus isn't the greatest. All right, so this is uh, When Lambs Become Lions by Nothing Till Blood. And, uh, oh man, I am so stoked to have a physical. So that's the thing, like, all, a lot of these I never thought I was really ever gonna get a physical of. Some of, like, most of them are out of print now, and they're super, super expensive online. This one was a uh, really rare or like out of print and this was like going to be the last of it. Uh, what's the album called? Honestly, I can't say the album name. Y-P-S-I-L-A-N-T-Y. Salanti? Yep, Salanti. I really don't know. But uh, it's an album by Bloodlined Calligraphy. And uh, yeah, that's super sweet. So this is one I haven't ever heard. So that should be an interesting listen to. And that's the thing, I I really love both Face Down and Solid State. They, they all have uh, so many bands that I really like. There was a time where I was into like the hardcore sound and I, I moved really into metalcore, that kind of newer sound. But I'm, I'm finding it through the labeled podcast on Spotify, I've really kind of got into all these older tooth and nail, like the early metal and hardcore stuff that was going on in the punk. And uh, I'm finding a new appreciation for it. So I think that's why like hearing some of this stuff now, it gets me excited just cause like, yeah, oh, it's different. All right, oh, I remember hearing this album way back in the day. I had a uh, downloaded copy almost 10 years ago, it came out 2009. This is uh, The World on Standby by Through Solace. All right. So Through Solace, uh, I remember this being a really awesome album. I haven't heard this in at least seven years, at least. Oh, and I just recently listened to this album 
and I've only recently kind of come to appreciate how awesome the burial is. Ah, oh, yes, the wine press by the burial. This is, um, I remember like I saw this, I got into metal in about 2010, um, which is the year this came out. And I, there was still stuff that was too heavy for me. There was still stuff that was too weird. Like, I got into like Four Today, Sleeping Giant, August Burns Red, The Devil Wears Prada. But uh, I don't know, guys like these, I just couldn't get into. But I remember this artwork. I was absolutely blown away by this artwork, and I thought it was so cool. And uh, I wish I, I was like back in the day. I was making like top ten lists at the end of the year, and I'm like, oh, if I had a top ten art. Um, list that would be on there even though I never listened to the album this is another one that I always uh, I stuck away from this band just thinking I wasn't going to uh, enjoy them very much I've come to appreciate them and I actually got their first album used down at a local uh, record shop and uh, yeah this is uh, the marriage of heaven and hell by a plea for purging and I knew that this was going to be in this box, so I saw it on the, the, the title there, or on the, the packaging sticker. But this is also really cool artwork that I'm like, I was always like weirded out by, but I also thought it was like super cool. And uh, I'm, I'm excited now to like hear this. Oh, it's, it's so cool having like the physicals of these, like there's just something about it that you don't get with digital. To me, the artwork always has mattered, but you get, I, I don't know, I feel like you get more appreciation when it's uh, like a physical CD like this. This is one I listened to a long time ago, and you know what, come to think of it, I'm actually surprised all these are not broken. Almost every time I order stuff from Facetown, I get, um, my jewel cases are all shattered, and it breaks my heart. But these are all pretty good looking. Um, this is one that I listened to years ago, it's been a long time, um, and this was like the first of the like more chill bands on uh, Face Down. That is Sleep for Sleepers. Uh, the album is The Clearing. And uh, this was kind of a test run for bands. I would say like like My Epic and uh, Atlas and just like a couple of those bands that are a bit more artsy, less, uh, less heavy, less screaming. Because they've, they've only had a handful of those bands on uh, on Face Down, and I think Sleep for Sleepers, if I'm not mistaken, was the first one. Uh, this is a band I recently, I started listening to this album on Spotify, and kind of gave up, but then I, I saw that uh, it was on the sale, so I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to get it. It was like 250 This is uh, From Isolation by Call to Preserve. But yeah, oh, I'm, man, that, the back, <laughs> the back artwork. This is the Christian band. And the other one by Call to Preserve. Uh, this is Life of Defiance. And I believe a lot of this artwork is done by Dave Quiggle. Um, and I, I do like his style. It's the very, like, bold lines and, you know, crazy color schemes and all that. Man, it's crazy seeing some of these in person now. Like, uh, the the years have gone by where I've saw this stuff um, laying about, and you know, yeah. So this is another one of those small bands uh, for fans of Underoath, apparently. But I don't remember there being a whole heck of a lot of screaming. Uh, I thought it was more rock, but I could be mistaken. But this is uh, "Doubt Becomes the New Addiction" by Flee the Scene, and yeah. Oh, it's so hard to see the artwork on there. I can barely see it in person, but there's like a little town there. It's like a night. It's a night scene. But, uh, yeah, it's cool to have that. Oh, boy. I, I'm i gonna save that. There's, a, there's only... There's got five left here. Oh, hello. That one's in there. Okay. Again, this is another band where it's like I just... When I first heard them, I wasn't into them, even though I had their EP before they were signed. But it was like free on Bandcamp or something like that, and I, I just never really got into them. Uh, but I listened to this album like just a week ago, like right before the sale, and I was blown away with how good it was. Um, 2016 album, 
uh, To the Point of Death by Poured Out. Um, so yeah, I really came to appreciate this album recently. And th again, it's it's that hardcore sound that I, I kind of was into, but I haven't been so much recently. But now I'm like getting back into it. And uh, yeah, that, that was a solid album. This is the newest one. This is one of the, this is one of the last releases Face Down has come out with. This came out. This actually came out while I was on a, a missions trip this last summer, and uh, I remember like as soon as we got back into Wi-Fi connection, I downloaded this for the ride home, and uh, or I got to hear it while I was still up there. But uh, the album is a uh, Stranger Here by Weathered. Um, so yeah, this is one of their newer releases. Again, this is actually another softer band. Um, it's more just like a rock, indie rock kind of sound. Um, but they have a couple really solid songs on here. All right, down to the last three. We'll go with this one. So at least I'm ex probably one of the least excited ones, but I remember it being kind of good. This was one that I downloaded years and years and years ago, and I thought it was like pretty decent, but. Uh, Sometimes We're Beautiful by Ink and Blood. I'm interested in revisiting that one because it's been a long time. This is crazy. I remember watching, there was a uh, documentary about Christian, like the Christian hardcore scene. And it, it mainly featured Sleeping Giant, like they were the big draw. But the other band that they followed um, in the documentary was called Messengers. Um, and so this is the album, like they were basically on the tour like after releasing this I believe was in that documentary. So this is the Anthems by Messengers. And uh, this is just sick artwork, I love that. It's really cool. And now this album I used to jam so much. I'm stoked to have this album. This, I loved it back in the day. And uh, I never thought I would have a physical copy of it. But it is Shows Over by Jesus Wept. Yeah. What was the song? Broken Crown. Blackout, Broken Crown, and Still Fighting, maybe. I think those are the three songs that were like just over and over again repeated on my iPod back in the day. So I am so stoked to have that. Um. Yeah, so this is, this is only part one. All those uh, awesome albums. This is a few days later now. A uh, couple updates through Solace's album. It's super good, super great. Check it out. Messengers was pretty good. Really digging the A Plea for Purging album, which I didn't years ago. Um, so unfortunately, I actually did already record this. And I forgot uh, to turn my microphone on. So I kind of uh, already opened everything. So I'm gonna go through what we got and there's some cool stuff here. I wish I could give you guys my initial reaction because I actually forgot I was getting a couple of these. But on the topic of a plea for purging, we got their sophomore album, Depravity. I finally think I figured out what I'm gonna do with the camera, the focusing between each. But then along with them, or along with that, we got their final album, at least I believe it was, from 2011, uh, The Life and the Death of A Plea for Bridging. This has a cool cover, uh, when the light hits it you can see it's, it's uh, it looks like it's embossed in there, which is really cool because I don't think I've seen any artwork like that before, but yeah, some of this artwork's dark, oh, hopefully this turns out. Next on we got this kind of brutal looking album. I've only heard a little bit, but I did like what I heard. Uh, I remember back in the day, I just totally wanted to avoid this, but looks interesting. The Whore's Trophy by Symphony in Peril. Um, so yeah, this looks like very, like a very interesting album. But I am stoked to hear it. Uh, yeah, interesting concept behind it, it sounds like. All right, uh, this is weird. It's an opened album for some reason. It's not brand new, but um, I'll still take it. T 
2007 album, Sending Your Strength by Means. And I do have, uh, I believe it was the album that came out right after this. I think it was in 2008. I forget the name of it, but um, I've heard that. The other album, I haven't heard this one, but I look forward to it. Another one with interesting album artwork featuring a woman. Um, the Undisputed Truth by Seventh Star. So again, interested in hearing more. I've, I've heard a few tracks on this on Spotify right before I ordered it, but seemed interesting. I'll give it a go, it was cheap. Uh, this is A Hope For Home and their album Realis. So I am stoked to check out that one again because I do remember hearing songs on it back in the day and I thought it was cool. Alright, three albums left unfortunately. Man, I like the inconsistency in the packaging. It was like a big white bag and inside of it to carry all these. There's like four of these yellow packages. It's kind of funny because all the other ones came in a box. So the third last album that we have here is Self Harvest by Ark of the Covenant. And uh, this one's a heavy album. I remember hearing stuff like from this and I hated it back in the day and uh, I am stoked to hear it now. So that'll be cool. Truer Living with a Youthful Vengeance by Dynasty. This is another band that I was like back in the day I, I heard and I just didn't like at all. And then recently I've heard a couple tracks and I'm digging what I hear. Hopefully, hopefully it turns out. But at these prices, I think it's all worth it. And the last album, the last album of this whole thing, it's uh, sad it came to an end. But uh, also by Dynasty, this is their album Beyond Measure. And uh, yeah, I look forward to hearing a lot of those and uh, yeah so thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed it I want to hear from you guys um, this was kind of supposed to be like some sort of tie-in to help you guys want to maybe listen to the podcast so you guys can listen to that on our YouTube channel or on Bandcamp uh, search Christian Metal Source we got our first two episodes out and uh, some more coming shortly we also just recently re-released and remastered a classic Christian Metal Source uh, compilation album and it's called This Is Our Worship Volume 1. Uh, we actually have Volume 2 coming out and thank you Nathaniel for sending in uh, those files. We couldn't have done it without you. We uh, didn't have access to them anymore. Uh, they got deleted and lost somewhere on the internet. And uh, yeah, so it was cool to get those back. Great to have the support from you guys in the community. But we're gonna have some some cool stuff coming up with the podcast and we're gonna have another, we have volume two of This Is Our Worship coming out. And we're taking submissions for our brand new compilation album coming out later this year, probably by the summertime at least, if not sooner, depending on how quick we get this going. Um, but it's gonna be themed on spiritual warfare, tentatively called This Is Our Warfare. Um, we got some awesome, awesome album artwork coming from actually a lovely lady in uh, the youth group that I help lead, and it's super sick, and can't wait to reveal that to you guys. Yeah, so if you guys haven't, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Christian Metal Source on YouTube, and if you're watching this via YouTube and haven't followed our Facebook page, go and do that. Both pages, we're featuring different stuff all the time. Also our Instagram, we, we post stuff on Instagram, it's awesome. If you're into finding new bands or just wanting to be encouraged, uh, we got lots of content on all of those different options there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go check out the Bandcamp page and the, the podcast, let us know what you think. We're gonna have, give us suggestions for what you guys wanna hear us talk about. Um, we got some ideas and uh, we'll hopefully try and figure that out all soon and get more out to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Peace.